Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of our electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A subcompact sedan from Toyota, the Corolla Altis 1.6V GRI CVT, and a minivan from Kia, the Carnival 2.2 SX AT. Plus a feature-to-feature comparison with two subcompact SUVs, the Subaru XV 2.0 IS iSight versus the Toyota Corolla Cross 1.8 Hybrid. On Autopedia, we'll talk about how a supercharger works. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we will have the highlights of Fixed Stop Auto Service as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes. To race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition. So you too can race yours. Suzu D-Max into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Toyota. Toyota Motor Philippines has been adding GRS variants to its local lineup of models. Cargo checks out one of these top-of-the-line variants, the Toyota Altis GR Sport. Participation in motorsports plays an important role in Toyota's process for developing what it calls even better cars. And that is mainly done through Toyota Gazoo Racing, a Japanese car maker's global brand for performance cars and motorsports. Toyota has taken to rolling out cars with the GRS tag as the top-of-the-line or flagship variants for each of its models. Already, Toyota Motor Philippines has an extensive GRS lineup of vehicles from the Vios to the Hilux, the Fortuner, the Rush, the Corolla Altis, and the Cross. So what comes to the GRS tag? Let's take a look at the Toyota Altis GRS. The Toyota Corolla Altis is 4,630mm long, 1,780mm wide, and 1,435mm tall with a 2,700mm long wheelbase. In GRS guys, the Corolla Altis certainly looks racier with a new front grille with a honeycomb insert and bumper with high-gloss black elements. The side mirrors also get high-gloss black treatment. From the side, the Altis GR Sport definitely looks more racy with a new, more aggressive-looking side skirt. Also distinguishing the Altis GRS from its brethren is the two-tone 17-inch alloy wheel strap by 45 series tires. The rear also looks sportier with a diffuser built into the rear bumper. Of course, it comes with a Gazoo Racing badge on the trunk. The Altis GR Sport retains much of the exterior features found in the Altis 1.6V CVT, including the bi-beam LED headlamps with manual leveling, LED daytime running lights with line guide, LED front fog lamps, rear window defogger, full LED rear combination lamps, chrome outside door handle, printed rear glass antenna,
The Altis GR Sport cabin also feels a lot more sporty with a combination leather and suede upholstery with red stitching for the seats. Red stitching is also seen on the leather wrapped steering wheel and the padded center armrest. This is also complemented by the red accents of the inner door handles. Like the Altis 1.6V, the Altis GR Sport also comes with 8 way power adjusting driver's seat with lumbar support, 4 way manual adjusting front passenger seat, rear seats that come with center armrest and adjustable headrest. Also present are 7 inch multi information color display, tilt and telescopic steering wheel with the multi function switches and controls, electronic parking brake, auto dimming rear view mirror, rear sunshade. Comfort and convenient features in the Altis GR Sport include, among others, smart keyless entry with push button start stop. Automatic climate control with rear vents, power folding side mirrors, rain sensing wipers, power windows and speed sensing door locks, auto light control, 12 volt socket. The Altis GRS infotainment system features an 8 inch touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and smart device link, mirror cast, EM FM radio, Bluetooth, and USB port, and placed through four speakers and two tweeters. Kuril Altis 1.6 GRS is powered by Toyota's 1ZRFE engine, an inline 4 with dual VVTi, DOHC, and 16 valves that generate 121 horsepower at 6,000 rpm and 153 Nm of torque at 5,200 rpm. This is mated to a CVT gearbox driving the front wheels. The GRS drives and rides comfortably on a suspension system that features front McPherson struts with stabilizer and rear double wishbones with stabilizer. Confidence stopping power comes from an all-wheel disc brake system, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. Toyota rolled out the Altis GRS with Toyota Safety Sense, a suite of driver assist features that include pre-collision system, automatic high beam, lane tracing assist, lane departure alert, and dynamic radar cruise control. The Altis GRS also comes with front and rear proximity sensors, a rear parking camera, as well as blind spot indicators. Also equipped for safety and security of driver, passenger side, curtain shield, and knee airbags anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability control, hill start assist, 3-point ELR seat bus for 5, child restraint system with teether anchors and ISO fixed, Toyota vehicle security system with alarm and immobilizer. There's a lot more to like in the Toyota Corolla Altis GR Sport, now the flagship variant of an already well-appointed compact sedan. The latest auto industry news and developments, right after this break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Welcome back to Auto Focus. We now have the latest auto industry news. There's a new attraction at the Bonifacio Global City. It's called the AC Motor Central. AC Motors Automobile Group President Antonio Tautizara III describes the AC Motor Central as a motor show that will be open year round. It's not only a motor show where you can enjoy checking out the latest models of the four core brands of AC Motors Honda, Isuzu, Volkswagen, and Kia, as well as two motorcycle brands, KTM and Husqvarna. It's also where you can order vehicles of your liking. The Central also houses the corporate office of AC Motors. The concept of Central is it's like a motor show. You know, and like a motor show, there are, you will see that there are no walls in between the brands. 
we still have the core brand essence which we need to protect but we want a free-flowing experience as if we were having a motor show at the center of the city 365 days a year. The Central is supported wholeheartedly by AZ Motor Partner Brands, showcasing their latest and best models in respective corners of the 3,000 square meter facility. This new location that we have is also a refreshed showroom for us and it incorporates the new design elements of the Volkswagen brand, which has been rolled out and is continuing to be rolled out all across the different markets around the world. So you'll see a different look and a different feel when you come and visit us here at the Volkswagen BGC showroom. BGC has been as the center of commercial district in Metro Manila. So it's a perfect place to showcase such prestigious brands in one hub. Inside this building, customers will also find the Isuzu sales showroom. And just like all Isuzu branches, the Isuzu showroom here is capable to deliver the utmost customer satisfaction for its MUX, DMAX, Travis, and Isuzu Track customers. During the AC Motor Central inauguration, Totti Zara also revealed more innovations that would make car buyers happy. In AC Motor Straight Plus, we have gathered more than 60 used car dealers who will be bidding live online to ensure the best value for our customers. While we are inaugurating and announcing it here as one of our many digital services, of course, this will be available in all our outlets, initially in Luzon, and eventually we would like to spread the service of AC Motor Straight Plus in our outlets in Visayas and Mindanao. AC Motors plan to set up similar central hubs in other areas. We intend to bring this out wherever we can. This is a sample because we were allowed by the various distributors that we carry also to have a centralized hub like the central where we can provide this type of capability. Suzuki Auto Mactan has reopened its doors much to the delight of many Suzuki owners on the island and nearby Cebu. During the ceremonial reopening of the dealership stream live on Facebook, Norihide Take, Suzuki Philippines General Manager for Automobiles, said the demand for Suzuki products and services in Cebu make it evident that the dedication of the Cebu Auto Central Corp continues to be recognized by patrons. Suzuki will continue to be the reliable mobility partner, especially in areas that are vital for the development of the Philippines as a country, Norihide Take added. Suzuki Auto Mactan is located on a 100 square meter lot in Mactan Breeze, Soong Lapu Lapu City, Cebu, with a 48 square meter showroom for two models and an after sales department ready to provide assistance to patrons. Geely continues to expand its network of dealerships around the country. So, this G Auto Philippines Corporation, official distributor of Geely vehicles in the country, has inaugurated two more dealerships, Geely Kalamba and Geely Butuan. The twin inaugurations mark new milestones for Geely in the Philippines, and SCAP is excited to expand its reach of customers, especially in these two new locations, such as Kalamba Laguna and Butuan City, according to SCAP president and CEO Yugo Kiyofuji. This will enable Geely to further bring affordable, exciting, and technology rich vehicles as well as to provide certified after sales service to customers in these locations, Yugo Kiyofuji added. Dealership number 30, Gili Kalamba, is located at Porok Dos, Parangay Makiling, in Kalamba, Laguna. It is a 1,620 square meter outlet that can accommodate six cars for display and service. Dealership number 31, Gili Butuan, is located along the National Highway Baan Butuan City. It is a 1,500 square meter outlet that can accommodate six cars for display and service. Ford vehicle owners in the country can now easily check if their Ford models have safety issues that need resolving. According to Patrick Manigbas, Ford Customer Service Division Director, Ford's online tracking tools will provide Ford vehicle owners easy and convenient access to service actions required for their vehicles to ensure their optimal performance. This includes issues concerning Takata, airbag, inflators. Ford said customers can visit the Ford website to check if their Ford vehicles are part of a field service action that involves the immediate replacement of Takata airbag inflators. Customers can key in their 17-digit vehicle identification number on the Field Service Action Tracker on the Ford website. If they find a safety-related service action that matches with their VIN, they can call their Ford dealer or the Ford Group Philippines Customer Relations Center to schedule an appointment. The necessary repairs and service action will be performed at no cost to the customer. The 17-digit VIN is listed on the vehicle registration document, finance statement, and insurance paperwork. It also appears on the passenger side of the customer's vehicle between the windscreen and the dashboard.
Isuzu Kalapana emerged as the champion of the 17th Isuzu Service Skills Olympics, the annual competition held by Isuzu Philippines Corporation for part staff, service advisors, and technicians of its dealers nationwide. According to IPC President Noboru Murakami, the annual competition is a showcase of the exceptional skills and knowledge of Isuzu's after-sales representatives nationwide. After a grueling four-day online skills and knowledge testing, Isuzu Calaban was awarded this year's Dealer Grand Champion, besting 26 other dealerships in the competition. Commenting on the award, Isuzu Calaban President Daniel Uy said the dealership is constantly trying to improve the skills of its staff and technicians with the help and assistance of IPC to continue providing excellent after-sales service to customers in the Mimaropan region. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards to push the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and featured electronic magazine. Here's our feature to feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. This edition of Head to Head fits two subcompact SUVs the Subaru XV 2.0 IS EyeSight and the Toyota Corolla Cross 1.8V HV in a spec-to-spec -spec compiler. Rising fuel costs are making vehicles with hybrid powertrains all the more attractive. But how do hybrids compare against vehicles in their segment with traditional powertrains? Let's take a look at two Japan brand subcompact SUVs, the Subaru XV 2.0 IS EyeSight and the Toyota Corolla Cross 1.8V Hybrid. The Subaru XV is 4,485mm long, 1,800mm wide, and 1,650mm tall, with a 220mm ground clearance. The Toyota Corolla Cross is 4,460mm long, 1,825mm wide, and 1,620mm tall, with a 161mm minimum ground clearance. Subaru is equipped the XV 2.0 IS with advanced tech exterior features that include auto-leveling bifunctional LED headlamps, power folding door mirrors with LED turn signals that automatically tilts when reversing, LED front fog lamps, rear fog lamps, roof rails, roof spoiler, shark fin antenna, power sliding, tilt adjustable glass sunroof, and 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels with razor wire design. The Toyota Corolla Cross 1.8V hybrid variant comes with bi-beam LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights with line guide, LED rear combination lamp, rain sensing wipers, fog lamps, power adjust side view mirrors with auto fold. The exterior also features gun metallic front grille, black and chrome door window frame molding, and 18 inch alloy wheels with 22550 R18 tires. The Subaru XV comes with 8 way power adjustable driver seat with memory functions, a 6.3 inch LCD screen, and an instrument cluster with 4.2 inch display between the round speedometer and tachometer dials. Comfort and convenience features include, among other things, keyless access and push-button start, multifunction steering wheel that tilts and telescopes, paddle shifters, dual-zone automatic air conditioning system, 60-40 split folding rear seats, rear seat armrest, and USB ports. The Corolla Cross Hybrid comes with leather seat with 8-way power seat for driver but only 4-way manual adjust for driver. The rear seat offers a lot more legroom than when in a Corolla passenger sedan and the rear seat back splits and folds 60-40 to allow for an increase in luggage space. 
the 1.8 VHV comes with a tonneau cover. Comfort and convenience features include smart entry system with push button start, power windows, speed sensing door locks, drink holders, 12 volt accessory socket, and two USB portals for rear passengers. Right below the audio unit display are the controls and digital display for the dual zone automatic climate control system, which comes with rear vents. The steering wheel has controls for the multi-information display, the audio system, hands-free phone, and even for the adaptive cruise control and lane tracing assist. Infotainment in the Subaru XV 2.0 IS comes from an 8-inch touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Corolla Cross Hybrid Infotainment System features 8-inch display, AM FM radio, Bluetooth connectivity, USB port plus voice command, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and 6 speakers. The Subaru XV is powered by a 1,995cc boxer engine that generates 156 PS at 6,000 RPM and 196 Nm of torque at 4,000 RPM. It comes with a linear tronic continuously variable transmission with 7-speed manual mode and Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive system. The independent all-wheel suspension features front McPherson struts and rear double wishbones. The brake uses ventilated discs on all four wheels. The hybrid powertrain on the Corolla Cross comprises a 98-horsepower gasoline engine generating 142 Nm of torque, a 72-horsepower electric motor, and a continuously variable transmission. Combined, the hybrid engine provides a total output of 122 horsepower. The Corolla Cross suspension uses front McPherson struts and rear torsion beam. It also comes with an all-wheel disc brake system with front disc ventilated. The Subaru XV 2.0 IS iSight comes with dual-function X-Mode and SI Drive or Subaru Intelligent Drive with Sport and Intelligent Mode. Active and preventive safety features in the XV include Super View Around Recognition 360 System, Subaru Rear Vehicle Detection, Reverse Automatic Braking, Active Park Vectoring, Rear Cross Traffic Alert, Brake Assist and Brake Override, Vehicle Dynamics Control System, and Auto Vehicle Hold. The Subaru iSight Driver Assist technology in the XV features pre-collision braking and throttle management, lane departure and sway warning, and adaptive cruise control and lead vehicle start alert. Also added for safety are front side curtain airbags, knee SRS airbag for driver, 3-point seat bus for 5, auto retracting safety pedals, side impact door beams. The Corolla Cross 1.8 VHV comes with Toyota Safety Sense, a suite of driver assistance systems that include pre-collision system, automatic high beam, lane tracing assist, lane departure assist, and adaptive cruise control. It is also equipped with reverse camera, rear ends, and back sonar with two sensors in front and four sensors in the rear, a blind spot monitor and rear cross traffic alert. Standard safety features include a 7 SRS airbag, anti-lock brake system with brake assist and electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability control with traction control, heel start assist control, ELR seat bus for 5, child restraint system with isofix and teether anchors. It also comes with Toyota vehicle security system with immobilizer and alarm. The array of new automotive tech features in both the Subaru XV and the Toyota Corolla Cross V Hybrid is impressive making both great choices for those looking for comfort, convenience, and safety in their subcompact SUV. Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. 
It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. An auto repair shop in Quezon City is gaining renown in local motorsports circles as the go-to place to get your car ready for weekend races at the track. Fixed Up Auto Service is also known as a trustworthy shop for regular car maintenance services. Unang-una start ng fixed stop, nakilala kami sa Honda. Tapos nung Honda, after nung Honda, nakilala kami sa Subaru Group. Kasi na, later on siya, nag, ano na, may marami na mga, mga kaibigan na nagpasok ng mga, ayan, Porsche, BM, one time meron kaming Ferrari. Mga lahat na sa kinikater namin. Pagdating na po sa pyesa, sir, ano, uh, si Parts Pro yung nag-handle ng mga order namin. Lahat, uh, local, international po, sila yung nag-asikaso pag may mga medyo mahirap hanapin pyesa. Si Parts Pro yung nag-take ng mga order namin, pro abroad. Sa oils po, meron tayo yung mga high performance, si Motul, Arms Oil, Mag1, Ardeca, meron na rin kami. Actually, we are, ano, online automotive shop here in the Philippines. Nagkikerry po kami ng mga uh, accessories and parts ng uh, motorcycle and automotive parts. Actually, we we carry po different brands. Then we source po locally and internationally. Pagdating naman sir, uh, affiliation with Fixstop, uh, number one po namin silang uh, reseller or dealer. Bali, kami po yung supply ng parts kay Fixstop. Although, sister company din po, pero isa lang din yung may-ari. Multiple brands po, number one yung mga premium partner po namin. Nandiyan si KWST, uh, DTE, we have PIAA po, yeah, Sonax, uh, C-Tech, we have Rota po, and multiple brands po na partner din po namin. Tain, sa suspension po, si Tain, uh, KWST, KYB, nagkikerry po kami ng Bill Stain. Pagdating naman po sa mga uh, car products, car care products, nandiyan po si uh, Microtex, Sonax, Mafra, yan po. We have multiple channels po kasi pagdating sa online shop. Meron po kaming Facebook, uh, YouTube, website. Pwede din po kayo mag-online through Shopee and Lazada. Tapos nagpo-post din po kami through Viber Store. Pero yung pinaka-main page mo namin is yung FB page. Doon po nag inquire yung mga customer namin. Tapos doon din po kami nagpa-process ng mga transaction. Then, Didi-deliver po namin within Metro Manila by COD transaction. Mostly po na sinusupply namin sa racing, yan po yung mga brake fluids, brakes, tires, wheels. Yan po yung pinaka-main product na kailangan talaga. Lalo na kapag nag-dry run po sila ng training. You can visit po our Facebook page at partspro.ph. Pwede din po sa website namin. Meron po kami dong uh, multiple sale products through outlet po. Makikita nyo po yung mga products na naka-sale namin doon. Uh, Partspro.ph din po. And you can also watch our video po through YouTube. May mga car racing po sila doon din na ina-upload. And sa Spotify po yung podcast po nila. Sa lahat po na ang sara, sa mga magpabok ng schedule sa amin, pwede kayo mag sa 0917-803-8283 Tsaka sa Facebook page namin po uh, Fixed Up Auto Service Kasi strictly ano kami By appointment po dahil kami puno So kung, ma- kung gusto nyo magpa-schedule po Tumawag lang po kayo sa mga number namin Tsaka sa Facebook page namin A 
if you're looking to get into grassroots racing, ask around among weekend race warriors on where to get cars ready to be both safe and competitive on a track or on parking lot courses. Chances are, you'll be hearing about Fixed Up Auto Service and Parts Pro. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. Is it a minivan or an SUV? This car review takes a look at the all-new Kia Carnival 2.2 SX 7-seater automatic transmission. When Kia launched the all-new Carnival locally, it described it as a grand utility vehicle with a design that in its own word is SUV-inspired. While Kia wanted the new Carnival to come across as an SUV, it wanted the fourth generation Carnival to maintain all the space, comfort, and conveniences of a premium multi-purpose van. To some extent, Kia has succeeded as the all-new Carnival exterior exudes an SUV flair, while its dimensions, 5,155mm long, 1,995mm wide, and 1,740mm tall, with a 3,090mm long wheelbase and 172 millimeters ground clearance allows it to provide all the interior space and comfort of a luxurious MPV. Kia brought in two variants of the all-new Carnival, the 2.2 EX 7-seater AT and the 2.2 SX 7-seater AT. Both look strong, modern, and classic at the same time, a look that should stand the test of time. A distinctive feature is what Kia calls the island roof design that makes it seem the top of the Carnival is held up by the C-pillar. The top-of-the-line Carnival 2.2 SX comes with the dual LED projection type headlamps, dual sunroof, satin chrome silver radiator grille, and 19-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 235-55 R19 tires. The X comes sans the sunroof but with LED headlamps, silver radiator grille, and 18-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 235-55 R18 tires. Both SX and EX share LED daytime running lights and fog lamps, body color front and rear bumpers, door handles and rear view mirrors that fold and adjust electronically as well as feature LED turn indicators. Accentuating the SUV-inspired new look are the front and rear skid plates as well as the rear spoiler. Also shared by both Carnival variants are power sliding doors and tailgate, LED high mount stop light and rear combination lamps, standard rear fog lamp, pole type antenna, rear window defogger and belt line molding. Kia made it a point to retain all the things that owners like in these three past generations of the Carnival, the roominess and comfort of a well-appointed cabin while adding even more of the smart connectivity and modern convenience features that make Kia's flagship MPV even more comfortable and safe to drive and ride in. Both variants got smart keyless entry and push button as well as remote start as standard along central door locks with auto locking function, power windows with auto up-down safety function, and front and rear three-zone air conditioning system. The dash looks especially elegant and premium accentuated by the metallic trim that matches the inner door handles. The SX gets real premium leather for the seats, while the EX makes do with leatherette upholstery. The driver's seat on the SX can be power adjusted 8 ways, plus 4 ways for the lumbar support and comes in memory as well as cooling function. The front passenger seat adjusts electronically 8 ways, but also comes with a cooling function. 
there's an armrest between the front seats that doubles as a storage box. The second row seats truly pamper passengers in the SX. Kia calls them relaxation seats and they recline electronically and come with armrest, cushion, and legrest and can be adjusted back and front as well as side to side. The seats are cool too, figuratively and literally. The second row seats in the EX are also quite comfortable. Captain's chairs with armrests that can recline and slide lengthwise and sidewise manually. The third row seat in both SX and EX recline and fold 6040. The compartment for luggage at the back has a 627 liter capacity that can be increased to 2,785 liters by adjusting and folding the second row and third row seats. The SX gets more of the premium items including LED map and room lamps, but the EX shares much of what comes standard of the SX. This includes leather wrapped four spoke steering wheel that tilts and telescopes and features controls for audio, Bluetooth, and multi function display, cruise control, and lane keeping assist. Also wrapped in leather is the gear shift knob. The new Carnival is also equipped with electronic parking brake with auto hold, illuminated glove box, scuff plates, a multitude of cup holders and beverage holders. Families into gadgets will like what the Carnival comes with front USB connectivity port as well as charging ports available to passengers in the second and third row seats. It may not be the largest now available, but the 8-inch touchscreen display is more than adequate for an infotainment system, an AM FM radio, MP3 player, Bluetooth, hands-free with voice control function, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android that plays through four speakers plus two tweeters. The Carnival has a reputation for being a smooth ride. It was designed to be an ideal, reliable, and comfortable MPV after all. This is carried over into the fourth generation Carnival. It has all the power it needs from the SmartStream 2.2 inline four cylinder diesel engine, and common rail direct injection, and variable geometry turbocharger that generates 202 PS and 440 Nm meters of torque. All this power and torque is sent smoothly to the front wheels by a SmartStream 8 speed automatic transmission. And with diesel prices being what they are now, it should be a comfort to know you have four driving modes to choose from. Normal, Eco, Sport, and Smart to cope with all kinds of traffic and road conditions. And to have confidence that when you want to enjoy yourselves on the drive, you can with confidence. The long wheelbase, front wheel drive, and motor-driven power steering along with the suspension system that is both firm and supple makes the all-new Carnival a smooth drive and ride. The suspension features front McPherson strut and stabilizer and multi-link system in the rear providing predictable stopping power as a brake system using front and rear discs. The Carnival 2.2 SX gets more of the driver assist technologies like blind spot detection with collision avoidance assist, forward collision avoidance assist, rear cross traffic alert, camera display with dynamic guidelines, and parking distance warning with front and rear sensors. Both SX and EX are also equipped with anti-lock brake system, electronic stability control, multi-collision brake system, hill start assist control, and trailer stability assist. Overall, the Kia has done enough with the new Carnival to justify coming up with a category or tag, Grand Utility Vehicle. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney and today we'll be talking about the Supercharger. Superchargers and turbochargers, you hear these two terms thrown around interchangeably and can't really blame the people on the internet because they don't really know what it is, they have no idea what it looks like, much less know how it works. So we've covered turbochargers in a past topic, so this time we'll be covering the supercharger. So basically, let's start with the similarities, turbo and supercharger. Both of these things are called forced induction because you are force-feeding more air into the engine. It's just that the way that they do it are different. A turbo uses the exhaust gases to spin a turbine that feeds air. A supercharger, on the other hand, uses a belt like this, connected to the engine, connected to the alternator, water pump, air cone compressor, that spins two rotors in here that also force more air in. Same principle, get more air, suck more air, blow more air, make more power. The main difference between the supercharger and turbocharger is of the hardware itself. Almost all turbochargers are two circular round things. Superchargers come in this rectangular package because inside here are two intermeshing lobes. They look like gears. So what they basically do is it's also an air pump. It goes like this, air goes in, gets forced out, creates pressure. Nothing different from a turbocharger in terms of principal operation 
but how it operates is one is belt driven, one is exhaust driven. Now, let's address the popular notion, oh, superchargers are, are, have parasitic laws and all of that. No, it's not true. Whatever you read, once again, it's not true. Yes, it takes some energy to turn this, but that energy is a lot less than what the energy that it gives. Because if it is parasitic loss, and you're actually using more energy to turn this than what it makes, then there's no point in installing this in the first place. Let's put that in numbers. To turn this thing here, the assembly here with the lobes inside, takes about 5 horsepower from the engine. But what this gives you in return is about 40 horsepower on this 1.5 liter Honda City engine. So power-wise, for a 1.5 engine, we're adding 40 horsepower more. Basically, the behavior is like stuffing a big 2.4 liter engine into a car this small. That's the easiest way to describe the driving style and result of a supercharger. It feels like a big engine. The power curve is actually a straight line from idle all the way to red line. It's one straight line. No dips, no curves, no nothing. And it's very, very linear, which makes it a great choice for racing because unlike turbochargers, which have surged and sometimes depending on what size the turbo is, there's a lag when you let go. It's not very great when you're coming out of a corner. This is more predictable when it comes to driving and racing. So turbocharger, supercharger, which is better? One is not better than the other. One does not make more power than the other. If you're doing this on your project car, say a Civic 1.8, there is a limit to how much horsepower you can make. Go over that limit, whether it's turbo or supercharger, then you'll break the engine. It all depends on really what you want. And of course, how much you're going to pay. Some people may say, oh, I'll spend 200 grand on a supercharger for 40 horses. But if I do turbocharger, it's only 130, 140,000. I'll go with the cheaper option. Well, that's up to you. But the biggest advantage of a supercharger system is most of these things are made in kit form. So everything that you need to be able to install it comes with it. So this one here actually installs in one day. A custom turbo setup where everything will have to be fabricated from scratch will take about a week. That's the fastest to an average of a week and a half to two weeks. So you figure out how much your downtime is worth. So that's the how and why it works of a supercharger. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's all the focus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.